Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Dale Chanel's 48th World. Thank you for coming back for more entertainment news. But I want to take the time out to thank you for all of your support now and in the future. They, it's greatly appreciated. Trust me. And now we're going to get into a story where we're going to be featuring Candy Burris from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She has been moving and shaking out in these Atlanta streets. Uh, she's been up in California doing her thing. She's been in New York doing her things. She's just a global phenomenon. Okay, but let's get on into the story that Atlanta Black Star brought out for us to take part in. Elijah. To take part in and... Excuse me. She's given us an article read as a title of Getting to the Money Five Ways Candy Burris Keeps the Money Rolling in Outside of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? Candy Burris is never one to shy away from a business opportunity. No, whoever told her. Well, I'm going to say her mama taught her well. She was like, go get that money, honey. Get it while you're young so you can retire. And just look up and look on all the good things that have come your way, how you have prospered. So I'm like, good job, Mama Joyce. You taught, you taught her how to secure the bag. So proud of you, Mama Joyce. So proud of you. But anyway, going back to the article, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star reportedly earns $2.3 million from the show. That's allegedly, I don't know, but maybe they got their fact checkers and they on it. She might make a little bit more. She might make a little bit less. But what they're quoting here in her article is that Candy Burris earns $2.3 million from the show. Okay, but there's a lot more moolah to be had when it comes to her other adventures or her other ventures she's getting into. She's getting herself set up for building her empire for her legacy. Okay. Below are five ways Burris makes money outside of reality TV. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Build your empire while you got the time. And she definitely is on a well-known platform as her bread and butter. And she's being lucrative with her deals. I can tell you that. That's my sidebar, not in the article. But going into the article, it has a nice little picture of her from her tax boutique. It's like a golden type yellowish uh, jumper outfit. She's looking good. But I don't know. I, you know, I had tried to like see what kind of uh, weight loss program she's on. She's endorsing some type of shake um, type of product where she drinks more than she's intaking as far as uh, food, um, eating food versus uh, drinking your food. So I don't know if that's a good way for me to do it. I guess I'll continue on with my exercise and, and trying to eat right because I'm not good at trying to jer drink all these shakes and juicers. I need a little bit more substance, but the girl has definitely lost weight. She's maintaining. She's looking healthy. She's very vibrant whenever she's taking a picture. She got it going on, y'all. So let's salute Candy Burrs. But getting back to the article, it says setting up shop is one of the subtitles. It said with Tax Boutique, Burris was one of the first Real Housewives of Atlanta stars to step into the world of fashion retail. The singer launched a store in Atlanta suburb of Smyrna and Vinings, 2009, and, had, and now has multiple locations, including one in Las Vegas. It's toted as selling stylish luxury fashions at affordable rates, according to the website. All right. Then we go on to a family affair. Remember, it's a family affair. It's a family affair. So keep that in mind, okay? When you think about Deb Chanel's 48th World Channel, remember, it's a family affair over here. Okay, but the subtitle was reading in this article, inspired by her mother and aunt's recipes, Burris and her husband, Todd Tucker, opened up Old Lady Gang's Southern Eatery in 2017. The Atlanta restaurant has proved so successful that lines have steadily been out the door, prompting a second location to the open in the suburb of East Point in 2018. Burris also opened OLG and State Farm Arena, making it available for folks who want to enjoy special menu items while watching the Atlanta Hawks play. Go get it, girl. And she's also into 
makeup. Yes, Candy is definitely uh, solidifying herself through a lot of interest in the fashion world, okay? She's a bulging beauty star. It's the next article, uh, subtitle. It says, Burst has said that her name lends itself to many things, and that applies to her relatively new makeup line, Candy Coated Cosmetics. The singer announced plans to launch the effort on social media in August of 2018 and made it official by June 2019. Much like Rihanna's Fenty Beauty, Burst aims to celebrate diversity with her line of metallic eyeshadows and fun lipstick shades, okay? And we also know about Candy in her bedroom scene. You remember Candy? Bedroom candy, sex scene candy, yes, she's giving you all that type of flavor. Under another subtopic, it says keeping things sexy. All right, Bur Burris launched her adult toy line bedroom candy in 2011 with five products, but it now includes hundreds, according to the website. A home party side of the business was launched in 2012 to empower people both sexually and financially. Okay. All right, that's a little shade what she was saying in her article about that's what the website says. <laughs> I'm like, if that's what the website says, it says that. Kirsten, come on, girl. But I don't know. I might have to check out their website when I conclude this video. And I may come back with some updated reports. All right. Um, then we go on to the next subtitle. It says a scandalous show. You know, she's took that dungeon uh, episode where it was supposed to be defaming her brand, which is herself, and making her look kind of suspect to people that probably wanted to do business with her currently, as well as in the future. So she took that to be a slap in the face when Portia and Phaedra tried to paint this ugly picture of her and uh, could be suitable or uh, plausible to put her in jail as well and take her children. But it didn't get that far. Everything was kind of wrapped up. Portia spilled the beans. And we see the result of that relationship between those women. But um, she took that idea and made money off of it. Okay? It's called the Scandalous Show or the Dungeon Show as we know it. What was once a potential reputation damaging rumor. We're going back to the article. Is now a burlesque experience, okay? You know that itchy, gitchy, ya, ya, da, da. Y'all remember that? Ha! <laughs> Patty LaBelle, get into it. But uh, pretty much like that show, um, I think it was a BET, BET award show. It could have been Soul Train Awards or whatever. But they had Pink and Lil' Kim and Maya and a few other artists, you know, acting like they was in a, uh, what do you call it, uh, setting like it was a, Kind of like a prostitution type show or format where they were listing uh, men's money for sexual favors or whatnot. Um, but, you know, when you go, it's almost like in a stripper type scene or setting you putting yourself into if you want to visualize it. And um, that's pretty much uh, her burlesque show that she has titled The Dungeon. Okay. And that's where we get the burlesque show. From. But going back to the article, it says what was once a potential replication damaging rumor is now a burlesque experience. Burris took what Real Housewives of Atlanta star Phaedra Parks alleged about the single one into drug and rape. Portia Williams is a non-existent sex dungeon and turned into the sold out Welcome to the Dungeon tour last year. It proved so successful that Burris and pals Tamar Braxton, Trina, and more are going on the road again this fall. Okay, and I think she is doing something uh, currently as we're speaking, approaching the Halloween festivities. And she's giving a little like a Halloween party show, burlesque type of thing going on where you can see her. She's invited a lot of other different musical artists to join her in her plight of bringing that to fruition in a Halloween Base setting. So, yes, those are the many ways that Candy Burris gets down and make her money the legal way. Okay? So, watch out for more ventures or more ventures she's going to be putting out. Because the, the uh, I think she's, what, 40-something? Maybe be 43? She is a powerhouse. And at that time of getting into the business, as well as when she was with her group, uh, Escape, 
she had been known to having money and saving money and investing well, but she has definitely come full circle of attaining her wealth and achieving more wealth to come. So let's salute Candy Burris and her boss ways of how she gets her money. Okay, so hopefully, uh, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Continue to definitely subscribe to my channel, tell other people about my channel, and let's get me to that 10,000 mark, guys. I know we can do it. We can do it together. Nobody left behind. Okay, but y'all enjoy this video, and like I said, um, don't forget to take the polling questions that I have on my community feed. It ends on Sunday, and we start over a new polling type results. Well, a, a polling uh, survey we give out each week. So again, go over there if you hadn't had time. Take this weekend, Friday night and Saturday, to get into those polling questions. Make your uh, voice heard, speak your mind, and vote on those polls and we would give the results out on Sunday morning or afternoon. All right, y'all enjoy y'all weekend and I will see you next time for another video. Good night.